we are asked to determine which ordered pairs make the equation y equals the absolute value of x minus four minus two true, check all that apply. Each ordered pair is in the form of x comma y, and therefore to determine whether the ordered pair makes the equation true, we substitute the first value for x and the second value for y, and then we simplify and see if we have a true statement. For the first ordered pair, negative three comma five, we substitute negative three for x and positive five for y. Performing the substitution gives us five equals the absolute value of negative three minus four minus two. And now we simplify the right side of the equation to see if it's equal to five. Negative three minus four is negative seven. This gives us five equals the absolute value of negative seven minus two. The absolute value of negative seven is positive seven because negative seven is seven units from zero. This gives us five equals seven minus two. Seven minus two is five. This gives us five equals five, which is true, which means the ordered pair negative three comma five does make the equation true or is a solution to the equation. And therefore we check this ordered pair. The next ordered pair is three comma one. We substitute three for x and one for y. Performing the substitution gives us one equals the absolute value of three minus four and then minus two. Simplifying inside the absolute value of three minus four is negative one, which gives us one equals the absolute value of negative one minus two. The absolute value of negative one is one because negative one is one unit from zero. This gives us one equals one minus two. One minus two is negative one and because one does not equal negative one, that means the ordered pair three comma one does not make the equation true and it's not a solution to the equation. And therefore we do not check the box for this ordered pair. The next ordered pair is four comma negative two. We substitute four for x and negative two for y. Performing the substitution gives us negative two equals the absolute value of four minus four minus two. Simplifying inside the absolute value, four minus four is zero, giving us negative two equals the absolute value of zero minus two. The absolute value of zero is zero, and therefore we do have negative two equals negative two, which is true. This ordered pair makes the equation true and is a solution to the equation. And therefore we check this ordered pair. The next ordered pair is 10 comma three. We substitute 10 for x and three for y. Performing the substitution gives us three equals the absolute value of 10 minus four minus two. 10 minus four is equal to six, giving us three equals the absolute value of six minus two. The absolute value of positive six is positive six because six is six units from zero. This gives us three equals six minus two. Six minus two is four and three does not equal four and therefore this ordered pair does not make the equation true and is not a solution to the equation. And then finally for the last ordered pair, we have zero comma two, we substitute zero for x and two for y. Performing the substitution gives us two equals the absolute value of zero minus four minus two. Zero minus four is negative four, which gives us two equals the absolute value of negative four minus two. The absolute value of negative four is four, because negative four is four units from zero, giving us two equals positive four minus two. Four minus two is two, which gives us two equals two, which is true, which verifies this ordered pair makes the equation true and is a solution to the equation. Another way to verify whether these ordered pairs make the equation true would be to graph this equation on the coordinate plane and the ordered pairs that give us points on the graph make the equation true or our solutions. If the points are not on the graph, they do not make the equation true and are not solutions. So let's also verify this graphically before we go. The blue V-shaped graph is the graph of y equals the absolute value of x minus four minus two. Notice how there are three red points on the graph and two red points that are not on the graph. Notice how the three points that are on the graph are given by the ordered pairs at negative three comma five zero comma two and four comma negative two, which are the same three ordered pairs that we found that made the equation true or that were solutions to the equation. 
And notice how the points given by the ordered pairs 3 comma 1 and 10 comma 3 are not on the graph and are also not the ordered pairs that made the equation true or that were solutions. I hope you found this helpful.